Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the relation algebra part for our database management and warehousing topic. Okay. So this is basically a part two. Okay. In the part one, we have discussed about what is query language, like what is non-procedural or procedural query language, then what are the different fundamental operators used in the relation algebra, like right projection operator, pi, then sigma operator, right? That is selection operator. And then we have also seen what is rename operator, right? And also we have discussed few question as a part of tutorial. You can watch that videos first. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the set operators. Okay. So set operators are very important uh, concept for uh, this relation algebra point of view. Right. But what is set first? So set is a collection of objects or a group of objects. So these objects are often called as elements or uh, members of a set. Okay. Say for example, uh, I am just represent. I am just representing uh, set A. Okay, so set is represented by a, inside the curly braces like this, right? And it does not have any order, so doesn't have any order, right? Doesn't have any order, and repetition is not allowed here. And repetition is not allowed. Okay. So these are the two important points regarding the set. So this notation of uh, it is just a collection of object or in elements uh, which is present in, inside the curly braces. Okay, and there are a few different set operators like union, intersection, except difference, right? That is a uh, minus, right? So we are going to discuss this one by one. But we are not focusing on the set theory part in this particular video. We are we are focusing on the relation algebra aspect, right, of this particular set operators, right? So I will discuss few example. Uh, first based on the set theory then we can apply it to a relation algebra thing right so for example consider set we have a for example two three four five like this and set b okay for example uh three five seven eight okay so these are the two, two set we have now what is a union b a union b is so what is a union b at first it will consist of elements which are common to both the set so 3 and 5 is common right yeah so 3 and 5 will add the remaining elements from both the set that is uh 2 4 and here in this case that is 7 comma 8 right so this is basically a union b right so it will consist of all the elements of a and b and the elements which are present in both the set that will be stored once only right now what is a intersection b a intersection b is basically the common elements of both the set that is a and b so which are the common elements present in the both the set 3 and 5 right so answer will be 3 and 5 right so this is basically a intersection b and this is a union b now what is except difference so a except b right a except b is equivalence to a minus b right now what is a minus b here the element of a which is not present in the b right a minus b a minus b is basically the element of a which is not present in the b right so 2 is present in the b no so we can add 2 3 is present yeah we can subtract 3 so we don't need to add 3 4 is present in b no 4 is not present 5 is present in b no 5 is uh, yes, 5 is present in b so we need to remove it right so only 2 and 4 will be the answer that is a except b that is it means the element of a which is not present in the b now what is b minus a that is b except a now in this case the element of b which is not present in a right so in this case 3 is present yes 5 is present yes but 7 and 8 are not present so answer will be 7 and 8 now here one important point to note a minus b is not equals to b minus a right this is the important thing a minus b and b minus a both are the different thing but a union b b union a a intersection b b intersection a all are the same thing okay so uh, that's the point so i hope we, i hope you understand this particular concept of set operators union intersection uh, difference you must have learned in your 11 12 uh, mathematics right now let us try to apply this particular concept on relational algebra okay but there are two important points to note in the case of relational algebra right in the case of set operators first one is it should be union compatible union compatible so what is what do you mean by union union compatible right say for example uh, this is our table say s for example student right now i am projecting just name from this particular uh, table right 
so what will do so what will be my addition algebra query so pi name from table s that's it right so i will get uh, what is the output so output will be ravi raj shubham rajesh now rajesh rajesh will be repeated no because this pi operator will give us a distinct value of name right so rajesh rajesh will not get repeated right then we have ramesh and then we have ravi so ravi is already present right so it will not give us the uh, ravi name also right now what if i write one more condition like pi name we have condition like age greater than age greater than 21 right so that is s basically from s now in this case what will be the output so age greater than 21 right so ravi will be there raj will be there shubham will be there rajesh no but this rajesh will be there right rajesh ramesh no ravi will be there yes ravi is already present so we don't need to add right so this will be the output of this particular relational algebra expression and this will be the output of this particular relational algebra expression right now what i am saying in order to apply set operators right in order to apply set operators on relational algebra expression it should be union compatible so what do you mean by union compatible there are two rules so first one is number of columns must be same number of columns or attributes must be same okay we'll discuss that don't worry second thing is that they should have same data type right they should have same data type okay we'll discuss this uh, point in detail when we are going to discuss about the sql part so in sql also we are going to uh, execute this uh, execute the set operators okay so don't worry about it but here in this case we have uh, we have a table pi name uh, belong to s so pi name from a student table and name uh, applying the condition h greater than 21 right now suppose i want to perform union operation here for example pi name s union of pi name in bracket age greater than 21 and s is a, a relation right so this will be the expression right this will be a relation algebra expression i can apply the union intersection or except function only on the set right but you can see the you can see the output of relation algebra expression or sql right the output of relation algebra expression or sql is considered as set right is considered as set so that's why we can apply the set uh, operators there right so this pi name will give us this particular name and this pi name age greater than 20 will give, will give us this now if you perform the intersection operation what will be the output in this case so output will be ravi ravi right so name it will be ravi then raj raj common element then shub shub then rajesh okay so these are these four are commonly present and then the remaining element from both the set so only ramesh is remaining right so this is basically a ramesh right so this is how we apply the union operator right now instead of union if i just apply the intersection right here so pi name as intersection pi name sigma age greater than 21 s okay now in that case what will be the output the common element between these two output right so common element is raj ravi group and rajesh so output will be raj ravi sub and rajesh right yeah so that's the thing okay so i hope you got this particular concept okay so one more thing is that we have discussed this right so projection of a name from student table uh, this say s and then we are applying one more projection from name and we are applying one condition age greater than 21 yes right this is what we have seen but if you re but if you observe here these are union compatible so number of column is same right so it is name only one column and name is also one column here so if i add age here okay if i add name comma age 
then from s union just projection of name then in that case it will give us an error right because here are two columns and here are only one columns so we cannot perform the set operation here in order to perform set operation it must be union compatible union compatible means there should be a same number of columns should be there right if this is a pi uh, name h or here should be name and h then i can perform the uh, set operation but only if age is present or only if name age is present and, and and on this side only name is present then in that case we cannot perform the set operation any union intersection difference we cannot perform right and so this is basically a union compatible and one more thing is that i cannot perform so suppose i just pick age from this particular yes i want to perform union uh, based on the name right so here if you see our first condition is satisfied that is there are only single column but data types are different right here age is of integer data type and here is name of string data type right so we'll discuss the data type in uh, detail in the further lectures but, but as of now consider that age can take only integer value and name can take only string value string or characters course also a string as of now consider string then we'll discuss this what is characters or characters right so this is the data type of age it can take only integer value and it can take only string or characters but in this case we cannot perform the union operation or or any set operation because the data types are different here are the numbers 18 23 and here are the name right like ravi raj so how will you perform the operations right in order to perform the operation uh, there must be uh, same number of column and the data type must be same right now if you observe this uh, pi of name from the s union of pi of cores from s now in this case number of column is also same and number of and and the data types of both the columns are same that is string character or string or character right but in this case if you see there are no common element because name cannot be a course name right and course may or may not be a student name right so in this case for this particular instance we don't have anything common so this will be an empty set right this will be an empty set okay we will not get any error here but this will be an empty set the output will be empty in this case in this case we'll get an error because there are a more number of columns right so it is not union compatible based on the column here name h here it is name only right now in this in the second case we have h and name so columns are same but data types are different so we cannot perform the union operation so it will also give us an error but in this case you can see we have name course so number of columns are same and the data types are also same so in this case we can perform the set operation but it will be meaningless right so we'll get the output but it is meaningless that is an empty set here in this case right so that's the thing of this particular uh, relational algebra expression okay so i hope you understand this particular concept now just let us discuss few examples so first one let us take of union okay so same example i will take uh, okay so for example pi of uh, name and age of s so basically uh, these two columns only right and then we have pi of name age and say in bracket i'm applying the condition age greater than 23 okay and that is from s right this is s so in this case name and h will be all the rows because we, we have not applied any condition but in this case what will be the output name and h so greater than 23 so this is not greater than 23 so raj will be there that is 23 and rajesh will be there that is 24 right sorry 24 24 right Re rest all the students are less than are 23 right? so we have a two student here raj and rajesh that is uh, 24 24 right now here we got the all the names of uh, student name and age now if we perform the union operation that is pi of name age as union of pi of name age and this basically this basic condition okay what will the output in this case all the element basically right so all the elements right so because in this table ravi raj shubham so in this case ravi will be there raj will be there okay like common elements from both the set that is raj and ramesh and the remaining elements right so ravi raj shubham rajesh rajesh ramesh ravi but here you can see ravi 23 
and Ravi 23 are repeated, right? So this row will not be considered in this particular output because this is duplicate, right? So Ravi 23 and Ravi 23 is duplicate. So only uh, first few rows will be considered for this particular thing. And output will, will be also same, right? Uh, Ravi 23, Raj 24, Shubham 23, Rajesh 21. Here you can see Rajesh, Rajesh is repeated, but the uh, combination is different, right? 21, 24. And Ramesh equals to 20, right? So this is the output of this particular thing. Now, what will be the intersection, right? Second is intersection. Intersection. So same thing. Uh, this is say for example S1. This is for example S1. And this is for example for S2, right? So S1 intersection S2 will be this is intersection, right? So element which is present in both the set, that is common element. So in this case, Raj and Rajas are present in both the set, right? So option, so answer will be Raj and Rajesh, right? So this is Raj 24 and Rajesh uh, 24, right? This is the option. Now what is difference? It is third to say except S1, except S2. So in the SQL, we will use except, but in the case of relational algebra expression, we will use minus. So S1 minus S2 will be the element which is present in the set 1 but not present in the set 2. So it will not uh, project this Raj and this Rajesh. So output will be uh, Ravi 23, Shubham 23, then Rajesh 24 is present but it is Rajesh 21. So Rajesh 21 will be there. Right? Rajesh 24 is already uh, so, Rajesh 24 is present, so it will not be counted. So, it will be Ramesh 20. Right? So, this will be the output. Okay? So, that's it from this particular lecture. Uh, okay, so I hope you understand the example of union intersect by except. We'll discuss this in more detail when we look at the examples of uh, relation algebra. And also, we'll discuss about uh, uh, this set operators in detail when we discuss about SQL because there is one more concept related to this that is except all is all things there something right that is except all intersect all okay then we have union all right so all this thing i are going to discuss in the sql part but as of now just remember union intersection and difference right so i hope you got the concept okay so so please remember this we'll discuss for example in detail as a part of tutorial so don't worry about it okay and remember one thing that there are uh in this case, it should be union compatible, right? Number of columns and attribute must be same, right? Must be same and they should have the same data types. So these two are very important points to perform the any set operation in the relation algebra expression. And you can perform this set operation only between two project operators, right? It, it, you cannot do like this, like projection of uh, name, union, age. No, it is not correct. Projection of name or you are mentioning sigma, age greater than 21 union course equals to java this is also not correct union operation is this is also not correct right so union operation is only performed like set operation is only performed between the two sets so in this case of relation algebra expression or sql it is the output of a particular query okay so that's it from this particular lecture uh, thank you